Today we are going to, uh, I, I probably need the name uh, Tohira restaurant at uh, Jalan Kayu. Then we're going to another store. Let me just get the name. Uh, at Gelang Serai, that will be Haji Muhammad Yusof. And the last stop will be a store called Abish Road. No name for the store, just simply store number six. This morning we have uh, my normal juice or five green juice and of course uh, we are going for the, the nasi bani to see the fragrance of the rice, the mutton how tender and the chicken all, uh, also juicy. So we're going to look at all the three uh, nasi banis uh, to judge which one will be the hawker master champion. Our quest today is to find the best nasi biryani stall in Singapore and the best ting ting stall in Singapore. We started the day well. We came to Tohira in Jalan Kayu to try their nasi biryani. We tried the chicken biryani and the mutton biryani. And I think all the judges were impressed. The chicken and the mutton were soft and succulent. And, and the rice was neither too wet nor too dry and flavorful. Uh, next stop, Gelang Serai Market and Food Center. Taste biryani, I suppose, uh, first of all, you look at the rice, which is very important. You have to use the basmati rice, and also it depends on the grade, you know. Some basmati rice, uh, you have the cheap grade and some uh, high grade. And also, uh, the spices is very important, uh, including the meat, whether it's tender or not. to report that there's good nasi biryani everywhere in Singapore. So there's good nasi biryani in uh, Jalan Kayu, there's good in Gelang Serai, and there's good in Beach Road. Uh, I of course can't tell you who's the winner of the nasi biryani competition, but uh, I must say that all three stores that we visited were good. There was a slight difference in the quality of the ingredient and naturally every chef um, is different from the other. The judges would have to taste all the three stalls and then confirm among ourselves to arrive at a consensus on who to give the prize to. Thank you.